Welcome back guys, Ragnarok Chronicles, Greg here. Uh, we've been doing a lot of fly fishing stuff. We're still doing the backcountry gear list. Keith uh, and my sister finally got moved back into their house um, after some construction for the last year. Um, so they're finally in there. So that's what's been kind of holding Keith up from recording uh, his backcountry gear list uh, equipment. But uh, you'll see more of my list probably either the, tonight, maybe tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try to film some more stuff uh, for you guys so we can get that list thoroughly um, taken care of. But uh, wanted to do one more quick fly fishing uh, gear um, episode before we jump back into the backcountry gear list. So if you happen to be a fly fisherman and you're on Facebook or Instagram um, and you've seen some pop-ups or some advertising from a company called Yakota Supply, um, cool, cool little company, um, do some just out of the box kind of, uh, type products, which is, is super cool. That's, you know, in, being innovative is, is part of being in the industry. Um, so I reached out to Yakota because on the backcountry gear list, and I'm going to show you this product and we'll go more in depth in the backcountry gear list for fly fishing. But anytime you're walking anywhere, um, you know, riverbank, uh, on a hiking trail, you know, getting to some water. One of the biggest adversaries for one very particular piece of equipment that you carry as a fly fisherman is your net. And one of the biggest problems is overhanging branches um, or thorns or basically anything that can grab a hold of your net bag. So uh, I happened to see this advertisement uh, a few weeks back uh, pop up on my, my feed and I was like, I keep getting this, you know, pop-up. I'm going to take a look at it and see what it's all about. So, um, went on there, and these guys make some, again, great products, but one that stuck out to me, um, and again, you will see, again, on the Backcountry Gear List, but they actually make a net cover. Um, and this thing is huge uh, if you're hiking. Um, this is a ripstop material that uh, they're using. I'll give you the, show you the logo on the back here. But basically, you know, this is going to keep your net bag, your actual net, from getting hung up on a bunch of overhanging branches, again, thorns, anything that could be possibly in your way if you're hiking, bushwhacking, anything of that nature to the water, um, you know, anything grabs onto that and tears it, um, you know, basically you have now have a hole in your net, you get to land a fish and sneaks right outside. So, um, this... Uh, is by far one of the uh, better, handiest pieces of equipment to have, um, and it's from Yakota. So make sure you give these guys a, 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 a look. Um, again, they have some some great products. One other product that uh, I did get. Um, I'm so used to fishing with big fly boxes. You know, I always had big boxes, and I've used a million different. Um, chest packs and sling packs and as you probably see you see my fish pond that's the switchback uh, guide pro system weighting system so it has the belt the net holster everything on it um, but when you get into smaller packs like these you have an issue when it comes to having a big fly box so for the longest time especially when I was competing I was using these gigantic you know this tall fly box and not that they don't fit in there, but it becomes more of a headache to get them in and out, especially when you're on the water. So, uh, Yakota actually makes what's called the Slim Tin. Um, and this is a really nice uh, setup as far as a fly box goes. Uh, pretty inexpensive from what's out there. And granted, I mean, there's plenty of small boxes. I just happen to really like this. Um, so, I'm going to try to get close here. On the side that I have all my beads in, there's actually vertical um, cuts in there, and that's where your hook's going to go in. So as you can see, I have a ton of my beaded um, nymphs in there. Most of them are tungsten. I still use a lot of tungsten. Um, but, I mean, you've got hares, ears, pheasant tails. You've got prince nymphs, um, some caddis stuff, some stonefly, some midges. Um, just about anything that I think will be the, you know, the... The enticer um, to to get a fish to to uh, to hit it, and then on this side, on the lid side, is actually just one foam patch 
um, and you can see I've got some bigger flies in there I've got big hopper basically if I want to throw a dry dropper pattern I use a hopper it keeps everything floating I can use just about any one of those beads it's not going to sink the hopper uh, and then I've got some of my bigger stone patterns and the heavier nymphs on that side but what's nice is, is the fact that it's super small um, and if I was just going out on a day by myself and I didn't need my whole pack I can literally throw this in my pocket in my waiter pocket um, you'll see a, uh, a product coming up here um, hopefully within the next week you'll see it um, it's, it's actually really cool um, and again I'm, I'm big about thinking outside the box and not doing everything to the same standard as you know every other company that's out there so you'll see some stuff, um, you'll see a couple rods uh, between both myself and Keith. You'll see uh, some other products that are just outside the box and, and don't follow the norm, which is, is awesome. So um, but again, your, your code of supply, check these guys out, slim tins, net bags, um, then you know the works. In, in the net bag, they do have two different sizes. Um, so that is a large, which will fit my O-Pros and will also fit um, the fish pond nomads uh, so kinda look at those two nets and go okay that's the size I need whether your nets a fish pond or an O pros or whoever's net it may be look at the basket size the hoop size and that will you know tell you what size net bag you need um, so you come to supply check them out guys and uh, stay tuned for more fly fishing gear some more backcountry gear, um, some more just of, just about everything. So we got uh, Derek and McKenna and Bethany working on some other products out in Kansas. Rick uh, is working on some stuff here in PA. Keith is finally starting to work on his backcountry gear list. So you're going to see a whole bunch of videos popping up here on YouTube. So we appreciate you guys tuning in. And make sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram and on Carbon TV. We'll talk to you guys later.